Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this GV espresso machine. Okay, so I got it off of Amazon. It retails for about $172. It does have a $33 coupon that you can apply. Okay, so for about $150, uh, give or say, you know, this feels like a pretty cheap espresso machine. I mean, it does work. I'm gonna show you how it works and it makes a pretty good espresso, but overall construction of it, you know, for $150, almost $180, somewhere in there, um, everything seems pretty cheaply made like this is just really really thin but it does work and we're gonna go over that okay so here's everything that comes in the box it's got a porta filter we've got a single shot or a double shot and a single shot you can see how they're different there's one hole that comes out the bottom it says one cup two cup here's what the porta filter looks like it does have this little cleaning utensil so if the milk one um, gets stopped up we can clean it a scoop and a tamper now I'll be using Cafe Bustelio because it is ground at an espresso grind. So your coffee does have to be ground at a fine grind. You cannot use regular coffee grounds at a medium grind. So espresso machines do, it does have to be finely ground. You can grind your own coffee. So up at the top, this does get warm. You can put your mugs up here to get them nice and warm. Around back, there is a nice water tank, easy to remove. Now there was a red plug, so make sure you remove the red plug on the bottom of the water tank. And anytime I get a new machine, I like to put the, the water tank on and off about four or five times. You'll see some air bubbles come up. That just helps prime the pump. And then on this side, we do have an on off switch. So turn it to the line, which is on. Okay, so when you first turn it on, these are all gonna flash and you're not gonna be able to do anything. That's because it has to heat up the water on the inside before these are solid. Now we've got this control switch here. So this is where it is normally. But if you want steam, now be careful. As soon as you go to steam, it's going to start putting steam out there. But if you want to make an espresso, you're going to go to the right. So either there or there. So we, we do have a drip tray that has a kind of an uh, area that goes back into the machine. So you will have to empty this once in a while. There will be some steam coming out of it also. There is a red thing that pops up to let you know that it's full. And here's our milk frothing one. It just kind of moves left or right. It doesn't really articulate. So we can take this part off for easy cleaning. So I do like the display. Again, when these are flashing, you can't do anything because it's heating the water. But once they're steady, you will have to turn the switch to espresso. And now I can pick single shot or double shot. So it's very simple. Okay, so let's do a double shot. Let's put our porta filter in or a filter in our porta filter. So I'm gonna put in two scoops. That's what the scoop is for. So two scoops for the double shot. Kind of make some room for the new. Okay, so then you're gonna give it one uh, tamp down. Tamper works okay, but it is plastic. Then kind of wipe off the excess. Off the, you don't want any uh, espresso on these ears when you put it in the machine. Okay, so there is a max line. You can see I'm right up to that max line after it's tamped. Okay, so you're gonna start, let's go put it in the machine. You're gonna start off over here at an angle. Put it in. And you're going to rotate. You got to hold the machine, rotate it till it's coming out to you straight. And again, I got to come over here. I got to rotate this knob when I want to do an espresso. So rotate it there. Then I'm going to hit double shot. The double shot's going to flash. And I've measured that. That coming out is about 155 degrees. It is relatively quick. Now it does drip for a little bit. Turn this back to the center position and then there's our double shot espresso. Now that's pretty strong and, and bitter for me to drink. I have to make a latte or a cappuccino. So it does not come with a milk jug, but you're gonna need something to put your milk in so that you can steam it. Okay, so we can take this out and see how it did. There's how it did. Now to get the grounds out, this does come over and you wanna take this to your trash can, turn it upside down and you can pound those grounds out. Okay, so we're gonna turn this to steam. Make sure you've got your milk jug, turn it to steam. Now that's gonna flash steam right there and just start to get some steam out that's gonna heat your milk and give it a little bit of froth. Keep an eye on it, you don't wanna over temp your milk, so be careful, this can get really hot.
And when you're done, you're simply going to rotate this to the middle position. Now you will get a little bit of steam out there. That's normal. Okay, so there's my double shot. I've got my steamed milk. I can pour it in. And then I've got some froth. You can see it made some foam on there in the top. Now that's still pretty bitter for me. I do have to add some chocolate. So you can add Hershey syrup. I've got some white chocolate. Add about two, one half to two tablespoons of this chocolate syrup and that tastes delicious. So again, here's what that switch looks like. You're gonna rotate, rotate that either to espresso or steam. But when you're done with either one, rotate it back to the center position. Okay, so this espresso machine makes a nice drink. Um, I will give it that. The overall quality of it doesn't feel like $150 though. And it doesn't come with a milk jug. Even though the picture on Amazon shows it with a milk jug, it doesn't come with one. You know, I don't like having to turn this knob, turning this each way. You know, I don't necessarily like that. I would maybe like a control on here in the front. It works, but this doesn't seem like it's the most robust, if that makes any sense. Again, I don't want to take away. It does make a nice drink. The milk, the steam one does work okay. You know, it does come with a manual. The manual's written okay. It's a little um, hard to understand sometimes. You can manually adjust these. So how much these put out, you can adjust how much water goes through the espresso for a single shot and a double shot. And the manual walks you through that. So let's go over some measurements. So you, the drip tray has to be installed. So you can only put about a four inch mug underneath there. So front to back is about 12 inches. It is only a two prong plug. Height wise, it's right at 12 inches. And left to right, you're right around six inches. So I'm a little torn on this machine. I mean, it did make a good drink. Um, again, just the overall quality of it, I just feel it's very lightweight. Normally you get kind of a nicer espresso machine. This is kind of heavy, it has some weight to it. Um, the machine just feels really plasticky, even though they put some metal on the top here and here. You know, I, I do like that it's relatively simple to operate. You know, everything they give you does work. Like this scoop and this tamper, it does work even though it's plastic. So I will put a link to it in the show description notes. I did get this off of Amazon. I bought it with my own money. But if you click on the link that, that is in the show description notes, it will take you to Amazon. And if you end up buying the product through that link, I do get a little bit of commission from the buy, but the product won't cost you anymore. And if you hit the subscribe button right below the video, and then there's like a little bell, like a notification symbol. If you click on the notification symbol, you'll get a notification when I release a new video. So I really appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe.